Number 50, letter A. Find the angle of the third diffraction minimum for a 633 nanometer light falling on a slit of width 20 micrometers. So we need to use this formula over here on the right hand side. It is the formula for a minimum diffraction for a single slit. Keep in mind that that is also the same formula for a maximum diffraction for a double slit. So let's write down what we know. The D is the separation, so that is 20 micrometers, so we just have to take that and convert that into meters, so multiply that by 10 to the minus 6. Sign of then that angle is what we're finding. The third, the M is 3 because it's the third diffraction, and then the wavelength has to be in meters, and not that it has to be, but you must be consistent with these units, micro and nano. You have to convert the micro to nano, or nano to micro, or just convert them all to meters, or some other value you'd like, but you must be consistent. So meters would be the best though for this problem. Uh, 633 nanometers, that's times 10 to the minus ninth. And now all we simply need to do is divide this on out, right? Bada bing, bada boom. And then we have to take the inverse sine, right? Because we got to get rid of the sine on the left hand side. So I have to take sine minus one to cancel this sine on the left, right? I'm going to do the inverse sine basically both sides. Now all you do is take out that handy dandy calculator and make sure it's in degree mode, otherwise your answer will be in radians. So second sine of three times 633 times 10 to the minus ninth, divided then by 20 times 10 to the minus sixth, 5.45. So 5.45 degrees, all right? And that's letter A. And how about <clears throat> letter B? So what slit width would place this minimum at 85 degrees? So it's the same exact problem, basically. Same formula, d sine theta is equal to m lambda. I got to solve for d now, the slit width, so just divide out the sine of the angle. The angle has now changed, okay. Uh, the It's still the third diffraction, so that's still three. This is still 633 nanometers, so multiply that by 10 to the minus nine. That's still the wavelength. Then divide that by now sine of uh, 85 degrees. And that's 850, so 85 degrees. There you go. And do the math. So three times 633 times 10 to the minus ninth divided by then sine of 85. And this works out to be about 1.6... One, I guess. No, excuse me, 1.91. 1.91 times 10 to the minus sixth. And that's in terms of now meters. That would be like 1.91 micrometers if you had to convert it. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, you know the drill there. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. You might notice a relationship here uh, between the angle and the uh, distance of the slit. So, write it down in the comments. All right, tell me what you think. See you soon.